up YouTube back again with another video and today we're looking at this plugin from a company called Composite Nation and I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation but it's called Honoric, Honoric 2 I think that's what it's called anyway or it's something like that and it's a it's like a bloom and glow and glare plugin that makes it really easy to add those sort of touches to pictures in Photoshop now you can get it on a free trial. I've got my seven tr seven day trial running at the moment. And yeah, I'm quite impressed with it. So again, like I said, it's a plugin. You download it, it installs into Photoshop nice and easy. And I'm just going to show you quickly the sort of things you can do with it. And then you can decide yourself if it's something that might be in or might come in handy for you too. Okay, so we've got this picture here of my Iron Cat. <laughs> on the screen and um, yeah we've got the glowing eyes and the glowing chest area here but I just want to give it a little bit more of that realistic booming glow and you know you understand what I mean that gives it that little bit more of a depth to it and makes it look a little bit more wow yeah that's really glowing it's like you've added a glow to the picture and that's what I'm gonna do but it's gonna be super simple now, you know, you can you can get the little PNG blooms and all the rest of it and put them in individually. It's a pain doing all that. This makes it so simple to do. It's unreal. So we're going to click on new. And then it does like a, it overexposes and, you know, gives that bloom to the whole picture. Now, this is where the magic comes in. Dead quick and simple. I didn't need any instructions on how to do this. I just figured it out myself. It took me about two minutes, but it's so simple. You click on mask and then it gives you your picture back. Now we can get our brush and brush in the areas we want to have that little bit of glow to. So I'm just going to show you quickly on the breastplate here. And then you don't have to be perfect with the brush sizing, but we'll, we'll do our best. And then we'll just get the eyes and the eyes there. And that's all I'm going to do for now. And I'll just show you the difference. Okay. Boom. <laughs> so you can see the areas it's done, which is here. Boom. There we go. X-ray mode. You can see where it's doing the magic. What's this one do? Then we can change the colors if we want to. Um, you know, it's, uh, well, yeah, there you can see. And then we can go to here. We can make it an anamorphic blue. Yeah, I mean, that looks cool. And how simple was that? It took me seconds. Yeah, it's like I said, I'm just giving you a quick rundown. It's something I thought would be beneficial to a lot of photographers out there. Take a look yourself. Okay, so we've got this picture here. Let's go back. Let's do a new. It's going to overexpose all the areas where you might want to add something. Then we'll go to mask. I just want the eyes to be blowing or glowing, should I say, not blowing up. Let's get this bit crazily done quick. It takes seconds. Like I said, you don't have to be too neat. It still does the same job. But it just makes those pictures pop. Oh, here we go. Right, okay. Magic. <laughs> Look at that. Let's do one more. Let's get it on a car. Um, which car should I use? Right, so we've got a car here, picture here. Let's click on cancel that. Let's get it to zoom in just a little bit so we want these um lights glowing just a little bit more and i want to get that um oh that other thing glowing as well wait there let's just get this going first of all anamorphic look i want on this one as well so i'm going to go and mask it all the all the overexposed or the you know the highlighted areas it's give that bloom to everything like i said we click on mask it puts it back to normal. I don't want to adjust the light in. I just want to get this car area popping. Or the lights of the car popping. Just that little bit extra. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. And we're going to go on that one there. Let's add a little bit to there. 
and a little bit on the backlight as well. Okay, click on. Boom. They do look like they're on. I know they're on, but then they look like they're on. You get me? <laughs> and then we're going to go to the... Oh, yeah, there we go. That looks smart. How simple is it, you know? My cat's moaning at me. What's up, Tuts? What be a tick? We're doing a video. Okay, wedding picture. Let's just get a little bit going in this one as well. Let's go to new. All the areas that are... Or could be done are, like I said, overexposed. The blooms there will turn it off. I just want a little bit on this candle here. A little bit through that one. Maybe them candles there. That one in there. It just brings some pictures to life. You know, that just that little bit of extra. It does look a little bit more realistic than it was. I don't know. It just it just works. Let's click on that. Boom. They're on. Now, like I said, you can you can you know you can you can do this within Photoshop. You can add little PNG glows and all the rest of it. I just want things that make my life simple. And this has done it for me. Yeah. It does, again, I don't want to go too much into it. Just download it yourself. Try it for a week. If you like it, buy it. It's as simple as that. Okay, where's... Let's try one more. Um, so here we go. Another wedding one. Ideal for wedding photographers. Click on here. Let's go new. I'm going to get the... Um, just a little bit more glow in these lights up here. And there is some candles down the runway of the walk area. Let's just get a few of these glowing. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm just doing it quickly, like I said, just to show you. Um, but I'd rather you go and try it yourself. Click on OK. Boom. They're all lit up amazingly. Let's go for some glares. Oh, yeah. Again, it's trial and error, but have a play yourself. I'm just showing you quickly what it can do. It's a definite win for me. I do rate this one. It's a cheap plug-in. I think it's about $40. And, um, yeah, it's definitely something you should add to your portfolio. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Peace.